Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Thanks. Hi, guys, how are you? Today's discussion about the acceptance criteria of OLD bits as far as we be 31.3 process piping code. So, this is the, the previous one, it was P31.1, the power piping code. Now, it is the process piping code. So, we need to check for the acceptance criteria for well depicts as per p31.3 process piping code so this is well depicts acceptance criteria shall be meet the applicable requirement as per below clause there are four clauses are there this four clause is conclude all the defect as per b31.3 for radiography and visual you have to go see table 331.3.2 for magnetic particles see para 344.3.2 for liquid penetrant see para 344.4.2 and for ultrasonic see para 344.6.2 so these are all covered the old defects of old defects acceptance criteria for b31.3 so we go one by one for first we go the for radiography and visual see table 341.3 as per b31.3 before that before that table 341.3.2 we will go the category of fluids because we need to know these three category of fluids after that we will go that 341.3.2 class number category d fluid service is there is B31.3, there is three fluid service are there. Category D, category M, and category cervix cyclic condition. So category D, what are the definition? Fluid, those are non-flammable, non-toxic, the design pressure less than 150 PSIG and temperature less than 180 degree centigrade. So this is category D fluid service. Category D fluid service, those are this is the non-flammable. This is the non-toxic and design pressure is less than 150 psig and temperature less than 180 degree centigrade. This is the category D. If you go to the category M, this is the fluid service where the single exposure of this fluid to human tissue will cause several irreversible damage. Means this is the poison. This is some of the flammable, toxic. This is this type of fluid are there. This is called the AIM fluid and this is can hammer in your human tissue. And category is a severe cyclic condition. What is severe, severe, severe cyclic condition? Severe cyclic, cyclic condition are applying. There is a three points are there in C. Condition applying to specific piping component, component. This condition is applying where the specific piping components or joints in which AC computed in SE computed in acidosis para 319.4.4 exceed 0.85A. So this is the one condition. It is the specific piping component or joints in which AC computed in according with para 319.4.4. And the equivalent number of cycles exceeds 7000. This is the severe cyclic condition or other condition that the designer determines will produce an equivalent effect. So, these three conditions is called for several, several cyclic conditions. Now we will go, this is the fluid service. So, you understand the food is fluid service, there are three types of fluid service are there. Category D, Category M and the category several cyclic condition. Now, you see for radiography and visual, table 341.3.2, this is the table. So, how it looks like in the in uh, acceptance criteria of well, how it looks like, you see here. I will I, explain. There is three types of fluid same category and cat normal and category M fluid service, several cyclic condition and category D fluid service. So, every fluid service have their different acceptance criteria. So, if the crack is there, lack of fusion there, so there is categorized the well defect, well defect is same, but in the categories, categorize the fluid service in the different types of weld. You see A, A, A is, you see a girth, meter group and branch A, longitudinal group A. So, this world imperfection, what is this crack? 
crack we can make examination method is word visual and radiography so what is a so how we can find out a you see here a is extended extent of imperfection acceptable value is zero so a means crack so crack is visual and radiography anywhere you can find out crack then it is not acceptable there is no acceptable limit it means zero same b you see here b cumulative blade of ink of incomplete penetration so what is, what is b you see here b what is b what is mean b b means incomplete penetration well, how we can find out visual or radiography so you can find out from here the particularly symbol a b c d e f g i so every symbol have their own criteria and that criteria that symbol you can find out from here so there is well imperfection how many types of you have you can you can see here crack lack of fusion incomplete penetration rounded indication elongated indication under guarding surface porosity or exposed slag inclusion surface finish concave surface concave root or burn through weld reinforcement or internal production so this is the basic of the radiography and visual examination of 341.3.2 a means general notes you have to go a weld imperfection evaluated by one or more the types of examination method as specific in para 344.1 44.2 and 44 41.4.3 41.4 so this weld imperfection you can find out from here these four areas NA indicates means not applicable. There is no acceptance criteria. Does not require evaluation. If the in this case NA means rounded indication, if it is coming here, means there is not acceptable required. It's not acceptance criteria. It's there. Indicates examination method generally use the evaluating this kind of old, old imperfection. So visual means this rounded indication in this area, this E in this area. You cannot find out in visual so it is mentioned here in radiography so indicates the examination method made generally used in evaluating this kind of old imperfection and ellipsis indicates the examination method not generally used so this is you see here rounded indication elongated indication you cannot find out in visual so you can find out in the radiography same here surface porosity you cannot find out in the radiography surface it mentioned here surface so it comes under the surface surface finish so you can find out in surface so now we go we go one by one the defect extent of imperfection is zero means crack b means cumulative lines of incomplete penetration it's less than or equal to 38 mm in any 150 mm old length in 150 mm old length 38 mm is the acceptable if it is more than 38 mm in 150 mm then it is not acceptable Cumulative length of lack of fusion or incomplete penetration. So lack of fusion or incomplete penetration, if it is the same 38 mm in 150 mm, means 6 inch old length, 150 mm, 6 inch old length. Size of distribution rounded indication D and E. Why is mentioned D and E is the same? Size and distribution of the rounded indication and size of distribution of the rounded indication. But why it's mentioned here D, you can if you found here D. You see here d means for longitudinal groups it's several cyclic condition e means this is normal category fluid e here grid so this requirement is different that's why it's mentioned here see you may mention here yes you see one size C P B B code while our pressure vessel code section 8 division 1. So for D you have to go size and distribution code BPB code section 8 division 1 appendix 4. And for E you have to you have to maintain your defect acceptance criteria from here 341.3.2. It is for T thickness less than or equal to it should be 6 mm. It should not be less than or equal to 6 mm. If it is more than 6 mm then then it is not acceptable for TW so limit as D note 10 so note 10 you can find out here 
hitting a 341.3.2 if you go there there is a note is there you can find out in that note 10 elongated indication it is elongated indication individual length is acceptable t thickness by 3 it is equal to tw by 3 it is acceptable individual width is less than or equal to 2.5 m it is acceptable and tw by 3 cumulative length is tw in any 12 piece so thickness length thickness of the thickness uh, of the indic elongated indication in 12 times in the thickness el elongated indication it is acceptable if it is more than that then it is not acceptable it is same here in elongated indication is f and g okay. depth of undercut it is less than or equal to 1 mm is acceptable cumulative length of internal and external undercut less than or equal to 1 mm and cumulative and internal and h equal to same here cumulative length on internal and internal less than or equal to 38 mm in 150 mm well done so 38 mm is acceptable in 150 mm well done 150 mm well done in well done 138 mm is acceptable i is depth of undercut so h also there i also there so you can find out from here you see so you have to find out age age is here you see the normal and category m fluid side with age and i where is the i you see i here in the category d fluid service so these are the both the different types of requirements so it's mentioned here h and i so i is less than or equal to 1.5 m so h it was h it was uh, 1 m less than or equal to 1 mm but it is 1.5 m cumulative length of internal external undercut is 38 mm in 150 mm well length so this is all this type of defect is mentioned here you can easily check from the from the main page for this one to from here this two page i j k l m up to m that is the acceptance criteria so this is clear for radiography and visual acceptance criteria so next is for magnetic particle see there are 344.3.2 so what is mentioned there in magnetic particles is 344.3.2 an indication of an imperfection an indication is an imperfection okay may be larger than imperfection that was is however the size of indication is the basis of acceptance or evaluation the size of indication how you are evaluated is the acceptance basis of acceptance only indication that have a dimension greater than 1.5 shall be considered relevant so if it is the indication more greater than 1.5 m that only consider as a, as a relevant so indication what type of indication will become as a defect a linear indication is one having you know the length is greater than three times of its width so length is greater than that is called linear indication a rounded indication is one of the circular or elliptical shape with a length or equal less than three times the old so linear indication and round indication it's clear it's length is greater than the three times of width and in round indication length equal or less than of three times of the width it is greater than one is linear indication and it is the equal or less than of its width examination relevant relevant, relevant indication relevant linear indication is not acceptable relevant rounded indication if it is more than 5 mm it is not acceptable if it is 4 relevant if it is rounded indication means 4 to 6 if it is more than 5 mm then it is not acceptable if it is another 4 or more relevant rounded indication on a line separated by 1.5 mm that is a rounded indication in the same line and then each rounded indication is length is uh, separated by 1.5 mm then it is not this is acceptable if it is more than that this is not it is more than 1.5 mm or it is in one line it is not acceptable if it is a different line if it is 1.5 then it is acceptable relevant liquid penetrant is the same linear indication it is the definition and the round indication it is the same definition and you have to go the same examination and same type of acceptance criteria is mentioned here relevant linear indication relevant round indication more than 5 mm and four or more relevant diamond indication in a line separated by 1.5 mm ultrasonic 
See, there are 344.6.2. So, if you go as may be 31.3, ultrasonic C para 344.6.2. As it is stated here, shall be described A or B. You see here, A. How we can find out the linear type of discontinuity is unacceptable in which basis? What are the acceptance criteria? So, 6 mm is acceptable up to less than or equal to 90 mm. 6 mm is acceptable for thickness of the well and thickness of the base metal is up to equal to or less than 19 mm. Thickness of well means base metal divided by 3 for 19 mm is thickness of the well is less than or equal to 57 mm. So, thickness of well 57 mm less than or equal to then it is what TW by 3 for 19 mm. 19 mm for TW greater than 57. 19 mm is acceptable if it is thickness of the wall or thickness of the base metal is more than 57 mm. So, this is very clear understanding from the beginning radiography and visual and magnetic particle, liquid painted and ultrasonic ignition. This is the all acceptance criteria for B31.3. Now, you see, will defects picture to understand the above all information acceptable limit. So, so, for the newcomers who are the new guys, those who don't know how it looks like the cracks, undercut. So, this is the one picture is here. You can find out also B31.3, it's mentioned there. The cracks is how it looks like, undercut is how it looks like, well reinforcements, how it looks like, lack of fusion lack of penetration, surface porosity, linear indication. So, it will be very clear understanding to check the acceptance limit and here. Incomplete fusion, slag inclusion, type of weld imperfection, you see lack of fusion, weld metal on base metal, how it looks like. It's from SPB 31.3, lack of fusion between adjacent passes. Two passes is there, in the two passes, uh, there is a lack of fusion, so how it looks like. So, here you can see incomplete filling or root or one side only so there is the incomplete filling and you see that is why it is having incomplete penetration due to internal misalignment internal misalignment then the internal incomplete penetration is there incomplete filling or root uh, dip, 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 why it is happened incomplete filling because of the current and voltage or welding skill so this is all defects this is all imperfection or defects and this defects that is acceptance criteria and we can make, we already discussed it so i think uh, these are all you understand from the beginning this 31.3 if you have any question don't hesitate uh, and uh, please uh, feedback to in this in this video comment box thanks for watching my video please again i am telling don't forget to share and subscribe my channel to get regular video to keep updated with your new topic and there is a subscription link is there you can find out in the last page also you can find out in the subscription link at the uh, youtube page thanks again for your watching